Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? This is your boy Sinister bringing you guys another gameplay commentary. And I'm so, so sorry for the inactivity on my channel. I really don't have an excuse besides I was really busy with school. And as overused as that may be, it's kind of true. And um, my Regents exams are coming up later, so I need to start focus. I started focusing on that, but now I'm back. And. This is my first impressions of Titanfall, but first I want to, uh, yeah, so this is my first impressions on Titanfall, and I know this is a bit overdue, and this is from release day, this is my first game on, and I do very, very, very well, this is my first game, well, this is, this is technically my second game, but my first game was only like, two minutes, so, as you guys can see from the bar, from the, on like the bottom, where it's like, kinda blue, that's like, that shows like how far you're into anyways and this is my first game on basically because my first get my legitimate first game on was only like two minutes so i do 21 and 3 which is amazing for first game on on titanfall because titanfall it's really really hard to get kills well it's not i want to i want to say hard but it's you won't you won't be able to get as many kills as you would be able to in call of duty or some other games like 15 kills would be considered pretty damn good and I'm playing capture the flag and in capture I, I didn't really know what to play I played attrition and hardpoint during the beta but I felt like I should do something new for my first game on and this was a very this capture the flag is a very very fun game mode it's not the best experience game mode if you're looking for leveling up but it's very very fun if you want to just get kills but the best game mode for leveling up would have to be hardpoint as long as you play the objective if you still if you get a bunch of kills but you don't play the objective you're not really going to get too many too much xp where you could potentially get 50,000 xp 40,000 xp and that's a lot of xp and leveling up in titanfall is really easy if you know how to do it the right way like playing hard point and um people have been asking me if i'm going to go to the final prestige not prestige generation in this, in this game, it's called Generations, not Prestige. And yes, I will be going towards the final generation. It's going to be an intense challenge. And I hopefully will be able to complete that challenge in order for you guys to see what I've been going through during the generation. So, I'll be live streaming that. But that's for a totally different uh, commentary. And so, my first impressions of this game... I say it is a little bit overhyped, just a little bit. It has some flaws. My biggest, the biggest flaw here, is the lack of variety in this game. And the game, there's like very little to, there's only like six game modes. And I know that they're gonna be, um, there's gonna be a patch pretty soon, um, coming out for Titanfall that a lot of new game modes. But my, this, this is my, I'm, I remember my first impressions from when I first got this game. So I'm just gonna say that out there right now and this is what I'm saying this is like what I'm saying right now is what I thought at the beginning of the game when I first, first started playing so the lack of variety really pissed me off and they need the pride matches which they have now um the beta of pride matches is out now so you guys can go play that and um other than that it's actually a very very well done game the maps must have been hard to make must have took in forever to find a good balance between titans and pilots another thing that i really don't like is the that you, you have to have like ai on the field uh, I, and titans can get really annoying i didn't really feel it at first but towards the end of the game they got really 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 annoying titans and i think that they should have a game mode where they should where titans shouldn't really be like implemented or ai should be implemented in that case because I'm a competitive player, as you guys uh, should know. And if there's AI, you, you wouldn't expect AI in a competitive game unless it's like League of Legends. But in a first-person shooter, no. Because then a lot of things can happen, and especially in uh, fast-paced games like this, you're not really going to pay attention to AI. And then you know that AI can fuck you up. So I think that they should get rid of the AI in order to make this game better, a better uh, competitive game. So I'm not sure I was going to do for competitive. But we will see. One things that I do like, I like the parkour. The parkour is very, very good. Um, if you 
if you do like certain, if you run, wall run, or do whatever for a certain amount of time, you will really get rewarded for that, which I think is really cool. The challenges are really, really cool, and that uh, that there's a whole bunch of challenges, and I really do like the the, ex the experience part, how to make it easy to level up. But towards the gen generations, not this doesn't count for the second generation, like the first prestige. Um, after you, if you're trying to get into third prestige or the uh, third generation you need to do challenges so after the uh, second prestige or the third generation you need to do challenges so in order to uh, actually get that generation and that um, symbol next to your name so yeah that's that's um, that's a uh, that's an aspect and I'm sorry if this commentary isn't as good as my other ones I didn't really have anything planned out. I just felt like I should upload it because I felt really, really bad for not uploading. And I probably won't do that again. But I don't know because I have a lot of stuff going on in my personal life which I don't want to talk about with you guys yes yet. But yeah, so I, I'm sorry if this commentary isn't as high quality as my other ones. But I'm doing my best here, guys. And I'm going to be doing a separate video on tips and tricks on Titanfall to make me do a series and I'm not sure about his, um, what kind of series I should do but because of the the, the best gun in my opinion in this game which is my next topic here the best gun in this game I would have to say is this car SMG the CAR which you unlock at level 34 and it is a very balanced submachine gun and it's very lethal at close range um, However, the connection in this game could be better. You, keep, you tend to die very, very slowly, and turning on, like turning on people, is very possible. It's not like um, goes where if you turn on someone, it's like the biggest thing in the world, uh, or like Black Ops 2. It's it's sort of like Black Ops 2 in the health aspect. You people eat a lot of bullets, and I'm not sure if that's connection. If it is, then you know, fix that. But you die very 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 slowly and um, you, you need to hit your shot gun skill is pretty important in this game but movement is probably the most important thing in this game because if you're able to um, parkour around the map or jump around the map and not play this like Call of Duty because if you play this game like Call of Duty you're fucked um, you need to play this game like a completely different game you, you don't think of Call of Duty or any other first person shooter when you're thinking about this game you need to think Call of Duty. People who have been playing this like Call of Duty with like double jumps like Mario or shit. Like they play like Call of Duty with Mario implemented in them or like Halo. They, they, you're not supposed to. They, they do bad. If you play like Call of Duty, you're bad. Simple. You're gonna do bad. You're not going to learn the game as it was meant to be played. You, need, you won't be able to do a lot of things that people who have learned to play the game successfully will be able to do. And one thing I would like to say is that jump kicking is completely badass, and it should be. <laughs> it should have been in called in other first person shooters. I don't get how people don't think of how epic this game is. There's so many awesome moments and awesome things you can do in this game. And Titan battles are very, very cool, as you guys can see. I've gotten so much better in Titan, so don't even worry about this one Titan battle. But look how far you can go. Look at that. Like, the maps are very well done. I'm getting the, all the DLCs. The DLCs are very, very cheap, so if you guys can go get that, those are like $10 for every DLC, so... The next DLC is coming out pretty soon, too. So, I'm gonna be getting that, and I heard that there's gonna be like a forest map where you can jump through tree branches or some crazy shit like that, so... I'm, a, I'm very pumped for that, and I can't wait for the DLC. Uh, yeah, and when I first played this game, there were there were there weren't people who were there weren't as many people who were gen. But then I I took a break from the game, like I I played it for two weeks, and then I took a break from it, and like for a month because I I really I just got I just missed Call of Duty I guess I I don't know, it, what a what a, something about Call of Duty just makes me want to go back to it. I, I know I said this before that I quit COD, but I don't know guys. I don't know what's gonna happen. And the return of the 
Actually, no, I'm gonna save this for a different commentary. This game, out of 10 banana peels, I would rate it 8.5 banana peels. And, and if they fix, like, if they add up more variety in the game, and if they um, have game modes where Titans or AI are not implemented into them, then I would rate it 10 banana peels out of 10 banana peels. So, you will see about that. Hopefully, they do. Hopefully they hear my they hear my cry and um, fulfill this wish and yeah I still keep up with the competitive Call of Duty community and congratulations to Complexity for winning Call of Duty Championships 2014. Complexity are just dominating and they won packs and um, they won packs too and I don't get how they're doing it they're just a very dominant team I just thought I should throw it out there so. If I had to suggest recommend this game to everyone, I would. This is a very good game, and you guys should go check it out. But that's me. It's Brendan Roy Sinister, and I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, peace.